tonight. My name is Tiffany Colbert and I'm with Texas AgriLife Extension Service. Today we'll be making turkey chili pie. This is a great recipe to use on those cold winter nights. So something that I've already done ahead of time is that I've cooked my ground turkey. When I cooked my ground turkey, I used a chopped onion, a little bit of uh, vegetable oil, and I also seasoned it. You season the ground turkey based on your preference. The next thing that I'll add in will be kidney beans. Now these are canned kidney beans. You could also use cooked kidney beans if you wanted to. The next thing that I'll add in, this is diced tomatoes. Again, these are canned diced tomatoes, but when you're choosing any of your canned vegetables, make sure to look for the low sodium version or the no salt added. Next, I'll add in chili powder and I'll also add in garlic powder. Make sure you're using garlic powder and not the garlic salt. The garlic salt will be much higher in sodium than the garlic powder. So now that I've gotten all my ingredients, I'm just going to mix everything really well. And all you really want to do is make sure that everything is heated thoroughly. Since my turkey has already been cooked, I don't have to cook this but for about two or three minutes. Now today I'm using ground turkey. But as an alternative, you could also use a really lean ground beef. If you're using ground beef, make sure that it has less than 20% of fat. To serve this, I have in a pie pan four corn tortillas. So you just want to make sure that once this is heated thoroughly, you add the mixture to the top of the corn tortillas And to top it off, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of low-fat cheddar cheese. We'll place this in the oven for about 15 minutes. We'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. So we've had this in the oven for about 15 minutes. We've had a chance to let the cheese melt and the tortilla soften. So it's ready to serve up. Today I'm serving this with corn and carrots on the side. You could also serve this with other vegetables if you'd like to. This recipe costs about $1.81 per serving and it serves four. So the next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, make sure to check out Texas AgriLife Extension Service. We also have a Facebook page, so we'd love you to leave us comments and suggestions for future Dinner Tonight tapings. Thank you.